Let's talk about how to wire AC inputs and outputs on Victron inverters. You're going to use 6 AWG wire, 18 millimeter ferrules. That's very important. If you go too short, you're going to have a fire and a bad time. And you're going to put a little tiny service loop in these. Let's get started. Okay, we've run our first cable through the entry gland, and we're going to use this tiny little screwdriver. We're going to put that in that hole there until we hear a couple pops, and that's going to open up the channel for the male and female entries to go through for all your conductors. Once your cable's in, take your screwdriver out and test it for tension. Now look here, there's no service loops. That's bad. That's going to pull tension on those cables. It's going to pull them out. So what we're going to do, we're going to loosen up. We're going to try that again. Put a little loop in there like that. And then when we tighten that cable clamp, it's not going to pull tension on those conductors, effectively pulling them out of their little holder there. So there's then two mechanisms holding the conductors in place. One is the latch in that green box and one is the clamp we're tightening below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.